Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm just going to show you how to change a thermostat in a 1990 Miata. You can get the gasket, get your thermostat. This thing was only like, uh, I think like $15. I think it was maybe $10. $10 or $15 at AutoZone. This I bought online. Um, it, it goes to the temperature gauge. This one was it's pretty bad. I'm not sure what exactly happened to it, but it's broke. And it wasn't able to plug up, so I bought a new one. Adjustable, a simple adjustable wrench will get this out. Uh, it's not hard at all. And it's 12 millimeter bolts to take the thermostat housing off to get to the thermostat. But uh, this, $37, I bought it on eBay. That's where I buy everything, pretty much. So, Let's get started. First thing is first, you're gonna to wanna to take this off. The clamp is usually like around an eight millimeter or a flathead. And you just take it off and move it backwards a little bit. And there should be a fan here. <laughs> it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, there is an intake that goes here. that hooks into here and goes around and hooks up here. I've already taken it off, but it's usually an eight millimeter and some hose clamps. You just take off the hose clamps and remove it. And there's like a hose here and one back here and you pop those two off and you should be good but then there's two 12 millimeters here and you pop these off and this right here this broken piece was in this piece right here on top like i said just used a an adjustable wrench just a simple adjustable wrench pulled it off as soon as you break it loose you can pretty much unscrew it with your fingers Here's the old one, new one. Um, not sure <laughs> what this little piece is, but uh, it was the new. Is what he told me it came in it, so uh, it fits. So I'm gonna put it in there. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything, honestly. Not exactly sure what it is though. It fits fine, so I guess it'll work. And that's it. Bam. So all you gotta do, uh, most of the time you're not gonna replace this. Mine, like I said, mine was busted pretty rough. And uh, it was like, had this top piece just gone. So I had to actually rewire it. So I took my hot knife and cut, cause it was like the wire was down in here. So I cut around this base and I left the clip to lock it in or whatever. But I had to wire back in. I didn't have any heat shrink, so that's coming in the mail. <laughs> then the heat shrink I do have is for like super thick wire, so it wouldn't even work on this. But I uh, had to wire this back together, and that way it would work, and it would show the temperature gauge uh, if it was getting hot or not. So that's why that looks like that. But after this, you just put your 
housing back on. Hook this back up. That's the temperature gauge. And rip, put your hose back on. And then you put your intake hose back on here and run it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to get a new hose here because this seems to be too big for the intake to go on. But there'll be another video. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope I helped you out just a little bit. It's just a quick sort of thing. So hit the like button if it helped you out. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. Peace.